Leah from Unicorn Playroom here, and today I'm going to tell you the story of Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs from Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 and 2. Now, I'm not going to do the story of the other characters, as I will do their stories in future videos. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy is one of the most popular toys in Playtime Co. Huggy Wuggy was created in the year 1984 and went on to become a household name just like Poppy herself did years before. The concept behind Huggy Wuggy, as his name suggests, was to hug children back, making them feel loved even if their parents weren't around. He even had a catchy theme song. Take a listen. His name is Huggy, Huggy Wuggy, when he hugs you, he'll never stop. Your friend Huggy, Huggy Wuggy, will squeeze you until you pop. However, which brings us back to the game, there was an accident. Whether someone insulted him or he just simply wanted a hug, Huggy chased you through the depths of the factory and then someone pushed a giant crate on top of him, sending poor Huggy hurtling into the depths of the facility. Little did you know that Huggy Wuggy actually fell right where we started Chapter 1. And that's when he met ex-employee Red Ruby 77. Ruby took Huggy to the water treatment room and she put a compress in the water and used it on his wound before rubbing it with rubbing alcohol and putting a band-aid on it. And before you know it, well, they were in a relationship. But uh-oh, no water usage after 10 p.m. rule in Playtime Co. For some reason, that's a rule. So sadly, that resulted in Ruby losing her job at Playtime Co. But Huggy would rather be with Ruby rather than be in Playtime Co. So he quit to be with Ruby. Three years later, Ruby and Huggy got married. And not long after that, Ruby got pregnant with their first child, and she had a beautiful baby boy named Dakota. Now Dakota is almost a year old, and babies number two and three are also on the way. Now let's talk about the story of everybody's favorite elastic couple, Mommy Longlegs and Daddy Longlegs. Mommy Longlegs was made in 1991, while Daddy Longlegs was made in 1992 using Playtime Co.'s new elastic plastic, which makes them super stretchy. And here are a few quick facts about Mommy Longlegs in the game. She's voiced by my favorite actress, Elise Lovelock, who did a great job of voicing her. And Mommy Longlegs was also based on a popular 90s children's toy called Betty Spaghetti. Her living version was created from a woman known as Marie Payne, while Daddy Longlegs was made from a man, her husband, known as Carson Payne. And yes, he took her last name. <laughs> now let's get back to their story. In the rejected toys room, Mommy Longlegs had to go through several redesigns in order to get into Playtime Co. And those designs may have been in part used to create her family, which consists of her, her husband, Daddy Longlegs, and their octuplets. I'll explain about the octuplets later. We don't see Daddy Longlegs in the game yet, but from what we can tell, both he and Mommy Longlegs seem to love each other very much and have a sweet relationship. It's even shown in the rejected toy room that not only do the two of them still go out on dates, but the fact that they actively love each other is shown to be at least slightly abnormal for Poppy Playtime. But there are a few differences. Sadly, Daddy Longlegs has a sensitive stomach, meaning he can get sick often. Even a light poke can make him feel sick. Fortunately, a gentle belly rub can help, and he also has autism like me, so he's shy and easily gets scared. While Mommy Longlegs is brave and fierce and good at gymnastics, 
but from what we can see and note, she hates being around some of the employees because they're jerks, but she's friendly and kind around the children in Playtime Co. So Mommy Longlegs has always wanted to start a family of her own, and she did get it when she accidentally impregnated Daddy Longlegs. Now before everybody starts asking questions in the comments, Daddy Longlegs has a special kind of pouch in his belly in which babies can grow inside eggs. So that explains why he gets pregnant instead of Mommy Longlegs. They were so happy to start a family, and when they found out it was octuplets, they were extra excited because they've always wanted a big family. So nine months later, Daddy Longlegs gave birth to all eight of the babies. And two days after they were born, they hacked into the adorable tiny baby long legs. And here are their names. There's Mark, Jacob, Peter, Dawn, Heather, Valerie, Olivia, and Savannah. Daddy Longlegs gave birth to four boys and four girls. But don't worry, they're very well behaved and they're calm and they're sweet and they don't throw tantrums. So hey, at least it's not a big deal when they hire a babysitter. And having all couplets only made their relationship stronger, and they worked together really well. And kind of recently, Daddy Longlegs got pregnant again, but it's not a big deal. And this time, it's only four babies, so no big deal. But why wasn't Daddy Longlegs shown in Chapter 2, and why was he only shown in that poster? Some people thought Mommy Longlegs was sad because he might have died. But he didn't die at all. Oh no, Daddy Longlegs was still very much alive and out to get us in the game. In fact, it was revealed that Daddy Longlegs actually saved Mommy Longlegs from the hand crusher and fixed her up and healed her. So do you think we'll see him in Chapter 3 or will we see the full Longlegs family? Let me know in the comments below. And that's the story of Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs. Which Poppy Playtime character story would you like to hear next? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!